Hey everyone, this is Isaac Wardell with BeSidedSocialMarketing.com and today I want to review a tool that can help you with your social media marketing, specifically with status updates to multiple different types of uh, accounts such as Twitter and Facebook and Multiply and FriendFeed and a bunch of others. Uh, this right here is what you're looking at. It's Ping FM. That's the URL. So if you just typed in your browser, Ping FM dot or uh, Ping dot FM, you would have the site come up. And as you can see, very simple to register. Just an email address and a password, and you would be in. I've already registered. Obviously, we're going to look at the B sided social marketing uh, account today. So I'm going to go ahead and log in, and there's our information there. And as you can see, here is our dashboard. Now here you, we've got the different places that we are posting, uh, different places we have accounts such as FriendFeed and Multiply and Street Mavens, etc. Uh, we're also posting to a Facebook page. Uh, this is really cool because Ping FM lets you post just to a Facebook page if you want. You do not have to post to your profile. So that's great at, uh, when you're setting it up. It gives you the option of managing all the pages you manage and which ones you want updates to go to. Uh, it's really easy to add a new network or type of account. So in this case, I have actually removed our Twitter account so that I can show you how easy it is to set it up. All you have to do is come down here and add more networks. And here's a list of other networks that they support. So I'm going to add our Twitter account. And please note, I'm already signed into our Twitter account, so it's not going to require me to sign in there. But if I wasn't signed in, it would. Click the link, Ping FM, to Twitter, and here I'm cited in as our B-Sided Social Media uh, Marketing account. So I'm going to allow access. It's going to take me back to Ping FM, and it's going to say network has been added. And if I go back to the dashboard, you can see we are now posting to Twitter. Now this is really great because that's another one of the accounts here. And if we were to put a message in here and say ping it, our status update would go to all of these sites that I have configured. Oh, something else I was going to mention, too. Uh, with some of these accounts, you've got the username and password instead of the integration like I just showed you with Twitter, but not that complicated at all. Uh, you can update your status in multiple ways. As you can see here, there's email, uh, texting, Google Reader. Uh, you could Skype yourself uh, a status update, and it would go out to all of your configured networks here. Uh, a really cool one that was working about a week ago, and they've temporarily disabled it, to finish working all the bugs out of it and bring it back is this RSS feed. So if you had a blog or something to that effect that you wanted to update your social uh, statuses, that would work excellent. It was working great for me before they had to take it down temporarily. Uh, a couple other things I want to show you is that if you come over to settings here, here's all of your networks and you could come in here and edit each of those. So here's, you could decide what it could post and what it can't post. You could also remove a network there. Uh, back here in the settings, this is where you configure which Facebook pages you can post to, etc. But another feature here is the default settings. And this cool little thing will shorten your links and posts. As we know, Twitter and many other social status sites only allow 140 characters. So this would allow a URL to be shortened. And I'll show you an example of that in just a minute. You've also got the opportunity to have posting groups if you just want to post to certain areas and not others. Uh, back here, ping my, and the default would go out to all the different statuses, but if you just wanted to do a Facebook page or just your Twitter account, etc., you've got that option absolutely right here. Um, there's all these different integrations over here. It works with a lot of third-party apps. Um, you've also got desktop uh, applications that can update it. Uh, one of the ones that I use for my personal one is the iGoogle one. So I can put that up here. As you can see, I usually have my Facebook and my Twitter account here so I can follow what's going on. But if I want to hit all everything all at once, uh, including my LinkedIn, I will just put that in here. That's another cool feature. It does support LinkedIn. And I'll put that in there and I'll post all those. So I'm going to go ahead and show you just how easy this is to work. Um, one thing I do not like about this product is it does not allow you to schedule updates, which is unfortunate, but there's still a lot of benefits here. So I'm going to take a status that I have already written out over here and paste it in here. Now this one's about 99 characters. We can actually go a little bit over because it's going to shorten this, and I'll show you that in a minute. But this uh, update says, did you know that B-Sided Social Marketing has a blog? And ping it, 
and it says my message has been posted. So I'm just going to go over to my Twitter account since I'm already logged into that. I'm going to refresh. As you can see, I only have my tweets up because I don't want to bore you with all the others. And there is our update. Did you know that B-Sided Social Marketing has a blog? And as you can see here, it shortened the link to this ping.fm AI5UN. Now, if I clicked on that, it would bring up the social media blog that we have. All right. And that is a uh, review of ping.fm. Great tool. Hope this was helpful to you, and we will talk to you later. Thanks for watching.